You lied to me. You told me I was good, that I was destined to be good. Oh, it's too early for this. No! I want you to tell me why you lied. Sister, come inside. You're making a scene. So it's true then, what William said? What did William say? You're the heir, so you're good. I'm the second in line, so I'm the threat. You believe it, don't you? You would believe that I, your own sister, could pose a threat to your crown? What could I have done to earn your scepticism? Between you and I, there is no scepticism. I, I don't know what William said, but you misunderstood. I told you. I wouldn't lie. I am not bad. I am not dangerous. I already told you. You've misunderstood, sister. I promise you that I have never been suspicious of you. You are my blood. I love you and I trust you. Is that what you wanted to hear? What I want, brother, is for you to tell me the truth. I want to know that I am good. A good, strong, beautiful princess. That you won't now ship me off to another kingdom for marriage so I am no longer an obstacle in your path. You walk on eggshells around me, why? If I'm so good and unthreatening to you, why? Why are you, what are you so afraid of? Nothing, sister, nothing. <laughs> and yet here you are, lying to me again. As if we haven't grown up in the same castle. You take me for a fool. I am not. I am a princess, a warrior, a strong, powerful, intelligent woman. I am just as qualified as you to be the good one in this family, the hero. You? <laughs> what? A, a girl is going to go off and save another girl, <laughs> or a whole kingdom, for that matter. Uh, so, because I'm a girl, I can't be good? Uh, no, but I'm simply more qualified. You do amuse me, sister. You and your forward thinking. It's a quality of yours I've always admired. One day, you will make a mistake. Or perhaps your head will become so large that you buckle altogether. And when that day comes, I'll be ready to step in your place. To do better. Threatening an overthrow? For someone who talks so much about being the good girl, your threats towards me do take on a more sinister tone. Because as the chosen one, you're entirely perfect. Not taking well to being second place. It's only a more generous name for first loser. Ah, so that's why you're here. What? Stop playing the innocent princess vying for her big brother's approval. What do you care about being good? See, I think, I think it's something else. You don't want to be good. You want the people to think you're good. You're so jealous that they see me as the hero of this bloodline instead. Careful, brother. Many loved Narcissus as well, and you know how that turned out. Oh, the level of envy emanating from you. You're practically sweating. I don't need them to adore me. I want them to see me how I am, but they've ignored me for so long, focusing instead on qualities of yours that they don't even know that you lack. Most noticeably, a sense of integrity. I've humoured you for long enough. You may go now. No. No? No. I've realised. The reason why you so easily pushed me aside. My achievements. My talents. It's because I'm better than you. And you know it. And you can't stand it, the idea of not being seen as the hero, the saviour. You don't know. So you... much so that you have even gone so far as to convince me that I'm the evil one, the dangerous person. Make me feel bad about myself that I need to change to do better just because of your own pettiness, just so that your spotlight can remain golden, but no longer. Are you done? With you, yes. After this one silly argument. Sister, you don't know what you're saying. You want a villain for your story. I'll give you one. And you insist you're good. I said your villain, not the world. What's the difference? The people won't see one. Maybe. But to do good, one must work to eradicate evil. I will begin with you. And then they will see. You are out of line. 
Leave this room! No! Goodbye for now, brother. I will be back.